There's a lot of discussion these days about mental health, rightfully so, awareness, programs, tools to help people struggling. And here's another way we can help out. Joining us now, Jamie hagan boo of the Madison County Rural Health Council. Jamie, thanks for making time for us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So what we wanted to talk to you about, you offer something, and actually you've been telling me, uh, goes back to 2018, but let's talk about it now. Mental health first aid. What is that? Yes. So mental health first aid was originated in Australia and was brought to the United States with an initiative in 2000. Uh, so myself and my colleague have been instructors since 2018, uh, but more recently, uh, mental health first aid is the help uh, the initial help offered to someone experiencing a mental health or substance use challenge or crisis. Uh, mental health first aid um, is the first help that is given until appropriate and professional help uh, can be arrived and um, help the individual. How, how critical is it to be able to have this very, uh, let's call it kind of that first level of identifying uh, mental health or substance abuse challenge, right? Right kind of in the beginning, the early stages of it. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say uh, similar to CPR helps uh, you as an individual uh, that has is experiencing a heart attack. Mental health first aid helps someone experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis. And this, as we know, the sooner we can get somebody connected to the appropriate professional help, mm. the better the outcome for the individual and those around. And as we talk a lot about resilience and recovery, um, we know that professional help is key to that. Mm -hmm. And we got to get some people uh, to it sometimes. Uh, what does the training Absolutely. entail? What does that look and sound like? So the training is very hands-on. Uh, there's a lot of scenario-based uh, individuals sharing their lived experience through the curriculum. Um, and it's a five-step action plan that allows individuals, whether you're taking the adult curriculum, the youth curriculum, or the teen curriculum, it, it, it applies and allows individuals to have that action plan to follow um, and know if somebody's developing a mental health challenge. What are the warning signs and symptoms? Uh, when do we get that appropriate help? Who is that appropriate help? And knowing who those individuals are if they're not sure where to reach out to. And so you mentioned there, it sounds like there's, um, it's not a one size fits all. There's, there's three different courses depending on uh, maybe age uh, and things like that. Is that how you separate them out? Yeah, absolutely. We So we have the adult curriculum that we also, with the adult curriculum, there is specific courses such as fire EMS, public safety, rural communities, higher education um, that we can offer to organizations, whether they want to implement this in their workplace. Um, it is great for anybody who would like to take it, whether they have somebody with um, a mental health challenge or want to know more about a mental health challenge. Uh, th those curriculums are, are great for any adult. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the youth curriculum, which is for I uh, youth or adult who working with youth or have a youth in their life to be able to identify if a youth is becoming unwell, mm -hmm. how to have that conversation, what's typical for youth and what's not, um, and to know how to better connect our youth. I, yeah, and then yeah, there's a third one, right? Yes, yeah, our teen okay. curriculum is yeah. for um, teens, statistically go to teens before oh. they go to any adult, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we want to be able to give them the tools to be able to help their friends um, and know when to get that trusted adult and what that may look like and give them the tools. What are the warning signs and symptoms? How do you ask the question? It can be hard, right, to ask mm -hmm. somebody, are you thinking about suicide? Are you thinking about killing yourself? So what are we giving them as tools to be able to help their friends and potentially save a life? Uh, Jamie, we've got about 30 seconds or so. Um, Give us some of the details here about uh, learning more about it, maybe signing up for this. Is it just for people in Madison County or is it broader than that? Absolutely not. We cover um, Broome, Shenango, Otsego, Madison, Oneida, Onondaga counties, um, and you can reach out to us um, at Madison County Rural Health Council by calling 315-815-4141. or reach out to our website at mcruralhealthcouncil.org to find out how to take a training and what trainings we have coming up. Jamie, thank you very much for joining us talking about that, uh, that mental health first aid. Great program. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.